okay it was a network problem maybe yes, so we were right. disconnected there are lots of network problems these days unfortunately you are from united kingdom and you are in thailand yeah yep yep correct so many the reason what do you do there uh, i was working in the scuba diving industry but because of corona um there are no more tourists here so we don't have a job so you like the you like adventure yep adventure oceans sharks things like that <laughs> oh so i don't have any this type of experience because you know there is no ocean near my 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 city well do you have mountains lakes you can go hiking walking okay that's good for our health also yeah do you work at the moment or do you do you stay at home okay no i have to stay inside the home because of the coronavirus in my country yeah. there is a lockdown yeah do you have a curfew or anything no it uh, in my area there is no curfew but in some of the areas of my state there is a curfew oh cool that's okay then that's all right um is there something you want to talk about this session or things you don't want to talk about yeah that's a good question and you know okay let me tell you i am a teacher here so i would like to improve my communication skill i want to improve mm -hmm. my english so that's why i have chosen camly mm -hmm. to talk with the native english speakers the more i speak with the native speakers the better i can do in the future and that uh, that would be the beneficial for my students yeah that makes sense <laughs> absolutely your english is already very good though thank you but you know i would like to be a public speaker and i want to improve my communication skill also and i want to make my all speeches in english that's why i want to i want to practice the native speakers and what are you going to do your speeches about or to who do you have a topic or you know um uh what's it called a reason to do speeches a motivation uh, no. Okay, okay yes yes motivation i uh, i have set my goal one day very soon i want to make a talk on the tat uh, tat talk so you want TED to do okay right? yes that's my goal i want to make a speech on the tat talk tat talks yes that's my oh. goal and how anyhow i want to i want to go there that's a very good goal tat talks is amazing i love listening to them and uh what will your speech be about uh, sorry no so that's why no i have started reading some book of dale carnegie i have also started some online courses how to develop your public speaking skills sometime i watch the videos of ted talk and the toastmasters mm -hmm. what what will your speech be about what will your ted talk be about okay so if i got a chance then i would make a speech about my progress how did i learn english language because i completed my graduation and post graduation with the sanskrit subject but one day i faced a big problem to get a job because of the english language that time i was really uh, disappointed because of this language so what that day i decided to be the master of this language and from that day i started learning this language so just i would share my story on the ted talk Very good. That's very impressive. What challenges have you come across in your journey so far? Okay, so first of all, let me tell you when I faced the interview that time there were three requirements. Candidate must pass with the graduation. So I had candidate must have the NCC certificate. I had that time, but the last requirement was that the candidate must have the fluency of english and i could not speak i could not understand that time mm -hmm. so i lost i i lost the chance to get that job then you know that time i didn't have enough money now i have enough money so i i'm spending money on cambly that's why i'm speaking with the native speakers that's a good idea i mm -hmm. support this completely <laughs> All right. 
So do you want to do TED Talks in India or the US? Wherever they would invite me, I would go there. Yeah, <laughs> wherever. That's it, that's it. Do you, do you have to apply to be a TED Talk or do they invite you to do a TED Talk? How does it work? Okay, no, they have not invited me and I, I haven't applied for that also. Just I'm making myself better. So when I, I feel better myself, when I develop myself in this area, then I would apply for that. I see. That's amazing. Yeah. Uh, a couple of my friends did TED Talks. Oh, um, that's good. So you must have the yeah. experience. They must have shared with you how did they get the chance. Oh, no, they haven't. Of course not. <laughs> um, but they were all doing something unique. Someone, something that no one else was doing. So I guess invention helps here a lot. Okay. So let me share share with you. I have started my own YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, in a very short time, I have got more than 16,000 subscribers. Awesome. And I all I make my all speeches in English language. And what is your YouTube yeah. channel about? Okay, uh, it's about We Can Institute. We Can Institute. And now mm -hmm. I have started one online show, Let's Talk in English, with non-native English speakers. And I invite from the different states, different people who are interested in speaking English. And every day I talk with the 20 and 25 people. Oh, that's fun. And, and all people like write me in the so comment box, sir, uh, sir, we would like to get a chance and we want to talk with you. So it's my place, yeah. and, you know, to talk with the people. It's like your own Cambly platform. Uh, sorry? It's like your own Cambly website, but oh, yeah, YouTube. Definitely. And, you know, two days ago, I also got a call from United Kingdom. Sir, would you, would you work for me? Like, whatever you are doing... You are talking with the, you know more than twenty people. You you just uh, perform the role as a as a host, so it's a very tough task. You know, once we are talking one by one, so it's very easy to talk. But when you are talking with the twenty people, it's a really tough task. So yeah, I, I can't imagine. So just I send them the my ID, Zoom ID, and password. Then I also write down. Uh, I send them the topics. Today we are going to discuss on this topic. So they prepare everything and I give the chance them to to talk on the topic just today you know a few minutes ago I made this type of video and I have already uploaded on YouTube cool just today, really I asked, awesome. today I asked them just talk about your state and why do you like your state very much just give me the three reasons for that mm -hmm. and they enjoyed a lot so how do you contact them do do you yeah. Skype fit? Time or no, no. I use Zoom application now. Oh, Zoom. Zoom. Yes. Zoom, Zoom, yeah. Yes. And I have told them just send me your email on my email address, then I send them my ID and password and topics, everything. Cool. So How I'll... many <laughs> Zoom have? Yes. Uh, every day I talk with the more than 20 people, and uh, I get more than 100 emails every day. We want to wow. talk. To you. We want to talk with you. So, by so you how do you pick yeah. your people? If you have a hundred emails and you only pick twenty or twenty-five, yeah. How do you choose? What uh, is your criteria? Yes, yes, that is very tough task for me. So I have to spend my half hours to select them. Just you know, I check their writings. Who is better? Who has written nicely? So the person who has write emails, so I give the chance first. Okay, I see. Okay. Are there I, some I people that English don't? Listen, I try to support those people in English. Because I think that, some people... know, this is the language. English is the language. The more you speak, the better you can speak. So it's a practice. Yeah. Uh, if you read only English books, then it is not useful for you. If you learn the grammar only, then you will be the master of grammar, but you cannot communicate with the people. I think that. So thus, I give them chance to. Yeah, practice makes perfect for sure. Yeah. So just tell me a lot of things about me. And now I want to give the chance to speak because that is your job to speak with me. <laughs> and thank you very much for listening to me.
<laughs> my job is to make you speak and that's what i've done <laughs> <laughs> okay so it's your softness it's your politeness okay so uh, can you can you can you give me some things how if you are also a very school a skillful person because you you do the scuba diving and everything so how can we improve our skill and what is skill i'm sorry improve what skill okay any skill means just you can talk about your skill how did you improve your skill because you you need a skill to the scuba diving also yeah that is a skill but practice just practice 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 to the point where it's muscle memory um you know asking other people as well if we arrive to a place and we're going diving and i have no idea what it looks like underwater but somebody who is who's been here more than i have then I ask them, hey, okay, what does it look like down there? Which way do I go? Do I go north, south, east, west? So I think it's admitting that you're not perfect at everything because nobody is. Asking people for help and doing it over and over until you succeed. Okay. So let me tell you, people go to office to work and you go to under the water to work. <laughs> yeah. My office is on the beach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And most of the time, you have to spend your time under the water. Yeah, on the water, under the water, yeah. on a boat. Okay, 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 okay. Good, good, good. Then it's not bad. Bad life. Okay, and uh, can you can you can you give me some tips about how to develop the communication skill? How to say that again? How to develop the communication skill? It depends what type of communication you want, because there's public speaking, there's debating, there's body language, there's quite a lot of aspects to communication. But a lot of it is just confidence. The more you speak, the more confident you become, um, the more people you speak with on Cambly, the more positive feedback you get, and that makes you more confident in your own skills. Okay. You get a lot of people on Cambly asking, um, saying, oh, I've got this public speaking thing next week and I am not comfortable. I feel really nervous. I'm scared I'm going to forget what I'm saying. Um, it's hard to change that mindset in a week, but long term, it's practice. Uh, practice in front of people that are your friends or your family or even better, practice in front of strangers because a lot of people are concerned with what other people are thinking about them but if it's a stranger like me on the other